this is a job we're taking over for the customer. You can see the pipes are pretty crooked, but we're going to add posts where you see the red X's and straighten this thing up. 10KW. We're doing a little uh, ground mount here. Customer's already installed a lot of the pipes. It's kind of a low profile ground mount. And we are just going to throw in a few extra posts because it wasn't really clear what he needed to do as far as the post spacing goes. So we got this little groundhog. I've wanted to rent this thing for a while. It's $84 for four hours. It's a hydraulic auger. And uh, it's got a forward and reverse and 12 inch bit. So we're gonna be an iron ridge here. So I'll show you how we do it. So unfortunately I lost the footage from the groundhog, but you didn't miss much. It was a pretty terrible experience on a hill. I think it would have been all right if we had used it on a flat spot, but these last pictures you can see how crooked this thing was and uh, I was pretty worried whether we were going to be able to get it straightened up or not so I had to call in the Good big afternoon guns. folks. Don't you just love concrete? So we are setting our posts in the ground right now and this is a job we're doing where the homeowner started it and then he decided to let us finish it so we are messing with some some curvature, some humpage, some divage. This one's diving. Antonio's drill's working really good. You can see all that. <laughs> it's a great drill. Man. He says it's just the drill working hard. It's not going to burn it up. This is another one we got going on here. This one's. You can see how that one's swimming. They're all swimming pretty good. Um, but we're gonna. Go ahead and set these posts. Ooh, that one's not looking straight. Uh, we're gonna set all these posts and we're doing something a little bit different. I know it's gonna work because I've done enough jobs to know the way I'm doing this ground mount, but I'm actually gonna have two ground mounts, two Iron Ridge ground mounts. There's gonna be a four panel and a three panel and I'm gonna splice them together. I'm probably going to have the splice about right there. So we don't always get the best solar sites. This is a challenging site because of the solar window. It doesn't get a lot of sun and didn't have a lot of room to fit a ground mount in. So when this customer asked me to spec something out three years ago, I didn't know whether he was going to ever do the job or if he just wanted to be solar ready. This is what we came up with. So this one, like I mentioned, it's on smaller pipe. So we are drilling out these Iron Ridge brackets so that the U-bolts will fit. And the song, this is Elias, he's doing quality control. How's quality control doing? Good. Good. Elias is doing a good job. And I think I hear some commotion up here. Let's see if I can figure out what it is. I think it's the big boss. We got a project going nearby the house. And then we're going to be putting up the solar on Green Hill. So that's where we're going to be doing the solar array. There's some commotion through the woods here at Green Hill. What do we have here? Big Boss Solar Contracting. Hey! What are you doing? It's disco. <laughs> this Disco solar? Prove it. Disco solar. So these guys are real pros. Scott's got the big rig for hauling. And the 35, bio 35 for digging. And we will come to your site. And we will install solar to disco music. Just for you. Today we're going to be doing it on this one. Now this is it's about... 9.30 in the morning and in the winter and you can see my site already has plenty of sunlight so it's going to look really awesome in a couple of days when there's 48 400 watt LG panels sitting up there on that hill getting back down to the farmhouse taking a little no you do not want to be shot with that right now no dude shoot him in the back it don't it's going to hurt it's going to hurt Antonio, shoot me in the butt. I've Taking been a uh, preload up morning gordita break. Big boss is trying out. Little boss's new uh, uh, 
airsoft gun. Hey, don't be shooting the vinyl now. Antonio brought a whole pot full of gorditas. How are they? Oh, that is Spicy? Cool. So the first thing's got to happen on a job like this before you can start mounting panels. So you've got to get all those rails almost totally level. So you got to pick a pick a chief, pick a cook for the kitchen, and let him be the level boss. Everybody else has got to get this thing planed out. If it's not planed out, especially when you have four posts, you're going to see it. So, like I said, this guy already went ahead and set a lot of the posts. And he had not done very many installs or any at all. So we we're just trying to get everything totally straight. Once we have that totally straight with strings, we'll start putting the rails on. So the big boss showed up on the job and he planed them out. They're looking really, really straight. And uh, that's a good sight to see sitting on there. Hey, did you think you were going to be able to get it straight, big boss? Did you have to step up and provide leadership? A little. A little. Nope. That's that's what leaders do, right? They lead? They lead. Oh, wow, that's going on YouTube. <laughs> Look at these guys. Walking, boss. He was wondering if it was okay to wear concrete. Or okay, is it okay to wear uh, camo on the job? Hey, is it okay to wear sweatpants? There's red ones. What's a, which one's um, the spice? Ask Antonio. Little boss is a little bit disappointed he didn't get his lunch today. Don't worry, Lias. We'll get to go out to lunch tomorrow. No, what we do? Huh? Hey, ¿cuáles son, ¿cuáles son más picantes? ¿Los rojos o los verdes? We're planning her out, guys. In the supply house, I just found the, the uh, I don't know what to, how to describe it other than this gutter landia. There's gutters everywhere. I'm about to walk into some gutters. I had to come get me some T bolts. So it is the end of the first full real day with this in phase Iron Ridge. LeBron, how are you? Doing just fine, thank you. Big Scott, the layout master. Not showing his face. She's looking pretty straight. I mean, she's pointing out nicely. So we took the wobble out of the caddy womp and now she's ready to go. We'll be back tomorrow with panels and micros.